I know you right now. You're that person sitting down in their chair, right leg crossed over the left, hand touching their face, wondering, what kind of game am I gonna watch today? If I got at least one of those three correct, uh, fantastic. You are a subscriber that watches my videos. Fantastic. Anything above that, I'm a fucking psychic. Anyways, um, I got a game today for you guys against somebody by the name of Jonathan. I believe this is from a stream. And, uh, it was interesting because, um, he said mixed here. And I was like, you know what? I feel like just bringing Yu Yu. Uh, if you're not going to be too heavy on that side, I'll just bring whatever the hell I want to. And we'll see how it goes from there. So, like, he had Absol. He had, like... What do you have? Did he get a Zangoose or some shit like that? I'm pretty sure he had a Zangoose somewhere in there. Uh, but then it turns out the rest is OU, so I was like, that's mostly OU. That's okay. That we'll, we'll, we'll work around it, I guess. So, uh, one thing I do know of for a fact is that uh, Mian Xiao is not really necessarily scared of Absol base speed wise or anything of the sort. I know if he wants the Mega on that turn one, he's still going to be slower than me. The best thing he can do is Sucker Punch, and I can high jump kick him. Which is why I'm going to go ahead and go for the high jump kick right now. Uh, I'm not sure if he was expecting that, and he decided to go out to Galvantula for that reason. Uh, if I went for a Stone Edge, I would not have Web on the field, and I don't think I have a Spinner or a Defogger, so I think the Web is here to stay. Um, not necessarily too big of a problem. It is going to be, you know, something I have to work around uh, when I keep in mind my switches and whatnot, but, you know, I got a Specs Raikou in the building right now, and we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So. I'm going to go over T-Bolt right now. It's not going to do much thanks to the multi-scale, but I know just because the damage is halved, um, it's going to do way more on this next one, guys. So, not to worry. Uh, the other thing I learned is that this Dragonite does not have... Um it does not have um, e speed for whatever reason. I'm not sure if it was just because it was bred early on, uh, you know, beyond the point where it would actually get it, or anything of the sort, or if it was just made without it. I don't know. Or even if whether or not if this Dragonite even had it in the first place. But doesn't matter at this point because I do have the fake out, uh, and I can knock out the Dragonite even despite the base speed difference after the sticky web. And I do want to keep Mian Xiao alive uh, just because its fake out is extremely valuable. Uh, I think it's one of the only forms of priority I do have on this team so uh, the longer I can keep it around the better then I'm pretty sure I can take a uh, bullet punch from a meta champ which is realistically the only priority outside of fake out that I'm gonna have to worry about taking so I switch into Porygon Z because I don't know what I realistically want to do about mega meta champ uh, and I do say mega meta champ because it's it's more than likely gonna be his mega he has a mega slot on his team and it's gonna be this thing so is he going to go ahead and Mega right now? Uh, realistically, any combination of two moves he wants to go for uh, is going to knock me out. But he just ends up going for Psycho Cut right now, which I'm 100% confident will knock me out in one shot. And look at that, kids. It does. Uh, on top of that, he could be adamant just because it's a sticky web team. So uh, I'm going to go into Metagross because I'm pretty sure that I can take any single one of its hits because I am just a really, really bulky motherfucker. He probably knows that and knows I can one-shot him in return. Uh, I go for a Meteor Mash right there, and I miss. Damage is damage, but I'm not complaining too much on this one just because it would have been a resisted hit, and I would have switched out in the first place. So, anticipating a Dark Pulse, I'm going to go into my Umbreon right now. This is my special defensive one, so I have no doubt in my mind I can take anything it wants to spit at me reasonably well. And look at that. That's like... What is that? That's barely over 10%. Like, Lefty's almost recovers that 100% of the way off. I don't know what kind of Clarita that is. If that's Specs, that's very sad. Uh, if it is Assault Vest, which is a pretty popular choice on it as well, uh, that's to be expected somewhat, but that's okay. Uh, gonna go for Foul Play on the other Dark Dog on the field, which happens to be an Absol. And it did not even occur to me that Banded Absol would be an option. I, would, I didn't get out of bed and say, I'm gonna take a superpower from a banded absol or i'm gonna fight an absent ad or adamant absol in general but hey look at that here we are kids we woke up and we got flattened by one in one shot that's disgusting but knowing that it o code an umbreon without a crit um i know i'm not like invested in defense or anything whatsoever but i get the feeling he's gonna keep going for it because he could very well be banded and i get the feeling right there he would have gone for knockoff if he had it or something that was actually stabbed and something that didn't keep dropping his attacking stat. Bad news bears for him is that I'm actually a Max Max uh, Zygarde. Uh, this one was actually given to me by the guy I played, I think, like three or four games ago. Uh, Order Zef. Uh, he soft reset his Zygarde. Uh, he didn't actually soft reset, but it turns out the one he caught was Impish. And really good IVs and everything except for speed, which honestly, I don't mind terribly because it's a dragon tailing set anyway. But it's subcoil dual stab. I'm a big fan of it. 
Um, just because of situations like this, I definitely should not have set up while Clodzer was still in the building or anything else in that matter. Did I start setting up early? Yeah. Was it a good opportunity to maybe get one coil up? Yeah, sure. Why not? I, I can live with that. Um, so that's fine. Um, wow, I completely spaced out so hard. Uh, superpower just really doesn't do anything. And I'm kind of blanking here. I think I just ended up going for another sub. Had I gone for a Dragon Tail right there, he would have had enough defense drops to the point where I would have just been able to flatten him with anything, especially because I got an attack boost there. Uh, but now that I have another sub up, he's going to switch out. I'm just going to go for a Dragon Tail on whatever comes in. Whatever comes in that isn't fairy is going to take a pretty substantial chunk, and it's basically going to be up to a dice roll to figure out what I'm going to be dealing with next. I just know that I do not want Zangoose to uh, come in for free and get its Toxic Orb boost and go on. So we'll just be dealing with that another day. Funny that we see Zangoose so much on this channel lately. I'm a fan of that. Uh, Clodzer comes back in. I can go for a Coil Boosted Earthquake, but I don't really have any offensive stats going whatsoever. Like I said, I'm just max max. So whatever that Earthquake turns out to do is uh, gonna be set damage. Is it debatable that a Meteor Mash, a resisted Meteor Mash from Metagross combined with this Earthquake would have been able to take it out? Honestly, I don't remember up until this set. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but honestly, that's okay. Mists has happened. They've been happening a lot on my channel lately. It's, you know, it's letting me kind of brace myself for the inevitable when I start using Megalopony a lot. And I'm just going to start missing high jump kicks left and right. That will definitely be a thing on my channel. I can assure you that within like the first couple of weeks. Uh, so, I mean, missing Meteor Mash, that's fine. There's no recall tied to it. And that, and I can still use Mega Metagross as well on my channel. That is a thing I can do. So, um, Dragon Pulse is going to happen because he's, I'm assuming he's choice locked because he kept going for it. And I go for Meteor Mash here to potentially get the attack raise because why not? You know, Zen Headbutt I'm pretty sure has roughly the same amount of accuracy, if not the same accuracy. And I could just go for Meteor Mash and a Bullet Punch. Might as well fish for that 10% if I can. I do not want to take a Sucker Punch in this situation, especially a Banded one based on what I learned earlier. So I'm going to switch out into Mian Xiao. Uh, Sticky Web is still up, but I can still fake out. It'll still have priority over the Sucker Punch thanks to it being uh, plus 3 priority over Sucker Punches, plus 1. And I can get some pretty steady damage on that too. So, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. what was I going to say? I can U-turn here as well because it's resisted. It's not going to take me out from 90% unless he gets a crit, which I was really scared that he did. But that's normal banded damage from a banded Absol. Yikes. If he did a little bit more, I definitely would have died too. Or if he got rocks or one layer spikes up, this would not be working out the way it's working out. Like, he needed like 15 more damage and I would have been screwed. So... I decided to go back out into uh, Metagross because it is now Metagross and Mianxiao versus uh, Zangoose and I believe Medicham. And it's an interesting matchup. I know from this range of HP, especially because Zangoose has not gotten a Sword Stance off or a, uh, a Toxic Boost, even if he wanted to knock off, I'm pretty sure I would have been able to take it okay. And even if the Earthquake didn't kill him, I could still, you know, I'd be able to take a quick attack uh, from him even after the Toxic Boost and just be able to Bullet Punch him and finish him off. So, right here, I was not expecting for Mega Metacham to go for the Thunder Punch. Uh, so this damage is definitely appreciated and I think is what's actually going to seal me the game because that's enough for Mian Xiao to come back in and say, hey, uh, thanks to the Meteor Mash and the Bullet Punch I'm going to go for, I had a lot of priority going on in the end game, and it's ultimately what's going to let me uh, seal the deal on this one, because Mianxia is just going to come in and fake out uh, to clean up for the 1-0 victory. So, fairly interesting game there. Uh, lots of Shinies on his side, a couple of Shinies on my end. Shinies are... I always forget how kind of jaded I am, and that I can get nearly any Pokemon I want to in about 2-3 to three minutes. Uh, especially if it's coming from Gen 5 or before, if it's coming from Gen 6, it really doesn't take me that long either. Uh, but Shinies, I just don't really care when I see them anymore. So, Anyways, I'm just like, oh, they're just a different color palette. Whoops, okay. Uh, that was a game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you are more than welcome to leave a like rating, comment, subscribe, and do your thing. Uh, that should do it out of me for this one, and I will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.